Snap! Oh, wow! You might come in and say, oh, maybe I should drop my trousers here. So, everyone come together because there's a will to be read. 20 years since, uh, since who died? <laughs> since Cyrus died. Since Cyrus, Cyrus can be with died. Yes. All the characters in their own way are, I suppose, really desperate and they want to get a piece of the will. But then chaos ensues. <laughs> About half the cast, I would say, know one another and maybe half are new to each other. So it does feel a little bit like an extended family. You know, you kind of turn up on day one and you're like, oh, I haven't seen you for ages and you must be the new nephew of so-and-so. So, -and -so. so it is, it's, it's been a lot of fun yeah, getting to know new people as well as meeting small faces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything to add, Charlie? Great. <laughs> you, that was perfect. It's been really fun to like enjoy the process and Paul creates such a collaborative safe space so we're allowed to bring so many of our own ideas and thoughts to the character to come up with something amazing. And we sort of celebrate theatre making. So the sound is a character and the lighting's a character and the set's a character and it gets its own gag and you're very much aware that the play is very much within the walls and not just happening on the stage. I genuinely think they can expect a gripping show and I feel like that's where great theatre lies, something that holds you and grips you and you want to know more. So I think that's what they can expect. They can expect to get on a train that they don't want to get off. Great analogy. What? Amazing.